guys, Jeannie here and welcome back to my channel. So today is National Lipstick Day. So I thought it would be a really fun um, idea to go ahead and share with you guys my favorite drugstore lippies. So I have a lot of them and I just thought I would go ahead and share with you guys what my favorites are because us as couponers, we get so many makeup deals and I thought that I would go ahead and help you guys out in terms of what you should be maybe trying out in the lip category. So I'm just going to hop into it. So I am a big fan of lip products. It's probably my favorite item to actually get makeup wise because on days where I'm not wearing any makeup, like today, I have zero makeup on, um, I will oftentimes throw on some sort of lip gloss or tinted um, like chapstick or something just to put on my lips to kind of give my face a little bit more life to it. So I gravitate towards lip products more than anything else and it is my favorite because I can change up an outfit just with a lip color. So I'm just gonna go ahead and share with you guys my favorites. So, Hands down, my favorite lip balm slash chapstick has and will forever be the Nivea Moisture Lip Care. I have these all over my house. And anytime I'm gonna put on some sort of lip color, I'm going to put on a lip balm as well. So what I love about this um, chapstick in particular is the moisture that it actually gives your lips. Sometimes I find that chapsticks can be a little bit drying. Um, but I don't find that in this particular chapstick. So this is the one I use all the time and I found a bunch of them on clearance last year. So I snagged a bunch of them when I found them on clearance, but CVS runs Nivea deals on the lip care all the time. So now I'm going to talk about my absolute favorite lip care item from the drugstore and it is the healthy, the healthy lip liquid lipstick. So this is by far my favorite, favorite drugstore lip product. So what I love about this is it is a liquid lipstick, but it's not drying. It provides your lips a lot of moisture, and I love the color range that Physicians Formula has. And I love the packaging also because the packaging looks very high-end to me, um, but it's definitely not um, like Sephora and Ulta higher-end cosmetic prices. So I like the detail that Physicians Formula has on their packaging. I like that the container shows what the lip color is from the see-through container. And yeah, I, I just love this so much. So what I was going to do is go ahead and just kind of swatch with you guys the colors that I actually own because I own a lot of them. Um, and I would just would highly recommend these guys. And they are very comparable to, I have a few higher end um, lip liquid lips and I would definitely compare them to the Tarte Tardis lip paints. I would definitely think that these are definite dupes. So if you don't want to spend 22 bucks and you'd rather get this for $5 and under, I would say go for the Physician's Formula because it does the same exact thing as the Tarte in my opinion. So the first swatch I'm going to share with you guys is the Bear With Me. This is the 017 so I'm just going to go ahead and swatch it for you and it is a nude pink. You'll see a trend in my other lippies. This is the color that I gravitate towards. I am all about that blush nude pink. So this color is in 017 Bear With Me. And then the next one is Berry Healthy. Very Healthy is another one of my favorites. So it has more pink than brown tone. So I love this guy. This is probably my second favorite. <laughs> and then the next one is Nut Riches. And this is number 025, Nut Riches. So there's more of a brown to it. In this okay, so this shade in particular is a pretty good dupe for Tarte's lip paint in TBT. So that, that's a definite um, dupe in my opinion. The next one is in color 028 Red Storative Effects. So this is a more of a brick red. So there's some orange in this red. So it's like a brown orange red. And then this next one has more blue undertones. So this is 586. This is Fight Free Reticles. So this has a little bit more um, blue undertones in the pigment of it. So this is, if you go for a more blue undertone reds, 
I would say go for this guy, but if you like more of the orange brownie reds, then I would definitely say go for um, red restorative effects. So I'm gonna go ahead and share with you guys the Tarte Lip Paint in Bay. So I'm gonna put it right next to the last one I did, and they are very, very similar. Very similar. So this is the Tarte Lip Paint in Bay. This goes for, I wanna say it's like 22, so that's that guy right there. And then the Physician's Formula is right next to it. So in my opinion, these two are pretty much um, dupes for each other. And the Tardis Lip Paint is very drying. I don't know if you can actually see that. It's just very, it's very dry. So I would definitely say that the Fight Free Reticles is definitely a dupe for the Tarte um, Lip Paint in Bay. So these are definitely very, very similar. This one is a little bit no more hydrating, a little, little bit more nourishing to the lips, and I can even tell that when I'm swatching it um, on my hand. So um, definitely a save there if you wanna save some money and go Physician's Formula, I would say definitely do it. So some of the other lip products that I've been trying recently. Um, the first one is the CoverGirl Melting Pout Matte. So this is in 310 Coral Chronicles. So this guy is a liquid lip as well. One thing I will say, I don't like this one as much as, as the Physician's Formula because it's a little bit streaky and you can see that even on the swatch on my hand. But if you go for something that's a little bit more light coverage and you look, you're you looking for something new to try with the CoverGirl line, I would definitely go and try this guy out. There's currently a printable coupon on coupons.com and a pretty good deal with um, CoverGirl Cosmetics this week at CVS. So I would definitely say go ahead and um, try this guy out if you would like. But like I said, it's a little bit streaky, but if you just want something just to, you know, lightly tap your lips, I say that that would be a good thing to go for. So I also wanted to add in something that I was not a fan of, because I'm talking about things that I love, but I also want to mention something that I was not fond of, and it is the Revlon Kiss Plumping Lip Cream. Um, I got this a few weeks ago when we had that really good deal on Revlon and what I, I love the color on this don't get me wrong this is my go-to color but what I didn't like about it is it literally didn't stay for very long I would say within half an hour this guy was already you know coming off and I wasn't even really doing anything so if you're looking for something that's gonna last like all day that is not to be um, lip product for you so I just wanted to throw that in there so my favorite my favorite like tinted chapstick type product is definitely the Burt's Bees. So this is the Burt's Bees um, natural lipstick. Well, I guess it's not a tinted lip balm. What the heck am I talking about? Um, it is a natural lipstick and this is in the shade 501 Blush Basin. Love this so much. And again, it's in the same shade family that I go for. So this is the shade right here. I'm telling you guys, this is like my spirit color. Like if I was a lipstick, this would be my shade. <laughs> um, so I love this guy. It stays, it's pretty long lasting. It stays on for quite a long time. So love this guy. Um, and I actually have a bunch of coupons for these. So my CVS manager, um, he told me that they were getting rid of Burt's Bees at their store, so he gave me a bunch of coupons because he knows that I like coupons. <laughs> so I have a whole stack of these Burt's Bees coupons. So if you want coupons, just say coupons and I will send those to you. So it's $1.50 um, off one of Burt's Bees lip product and every so often CVS will run those promos and this is, a, this is good until... Um, May 15th, 2019. So this guy, these coupons are good for quite some time. So I'm gonna give some of those coupons away. And then the last two lip products I'm gonna talk about is from Rimmel. So the Stay Matte Liquid Lip Colors. So I have two of these guys and I really like these as well. I'm telling you guys, drugstore lip products have completely changed the game for me. I will not buy a high-end lip color ever again. I won't do it because there's no need to. So the first one I'm gonna share with you guys is Blush 110. So this is Blush 110. And then the next shade is Pink Bliss. So I like Blush 110 more than Pink Bliss. Um, so this is the Pink Bliss. It's more of like a corally pink color and I, I, very, I 
tend to go more towards the nude brownish pinks versus the coral pinks. I just prefer them on my skin tone more. Um, but if you are fair skin and if you have red hair, I would say go for the, um, the pink bliss. My best friend, she is a redhead. She has fair skin, blue eyes. So this, this color is definitely her color. So I'm going to toss that aside and give that to her later on because that's a color that she would definitely just eat up. So even though that these are a matte liquid lip color, they're not gonna be drying on the lips. I've never had an issue with them drying my lips out and they've lasted a long time. And if you're looking for something new to get from the Roma line and if you have plenty of brow products, um, I would definitely suggest going and picking these Stay Matte liquid lip colors out because I highly recommend them. So I hope you guys enjoyed this drugstore uh, lip favorites of mine. So I thought it was very appropriate to post this on um, National Lipstick Day and on CVS Day because we're having so many good cosmetic deals at CVS this week. Um, I just want to give you guys some suggestions on what you might want to pick up. So I highly recommend all of the things I mentioned except for this Revlon Kiss Plumping Lip Cream. Not a fan of this guy. Wouldn't recommend it. I would say pick something else from the Rub Online. Even if it's a good deal, I would say pass on it because it's just not, it just doesn't stay. So I wouldn't suggest that. And I tend to not get things for donation purpose if I'm not going to actually use it myself. So um, even if we get a bunch of good deals on this product in particular, I still won't buy it because when I donate cosmetics to whatever um, charity I'm donating to, I only like to donate things that I would actually use myself. So that's why you guys don't see me hauling a lot of those brow pencils because I don't like the CoverGirl brow pencils and if I'm going to donate a brow product, I'm going to donate something that I would actually use myself. So you don't see me hauling a lot of the CoverGirl pencils. You don't see me hauling a lot of the um, brow this way from Rimmel. There's a lot of things you don't see me hauling. You don't see me hauling the uh, Wet n' Wild lipsticks. There's just a ton of stuff I don't haul because I don't like it. So, so that is why you guys don't see me knee deep in brow pencils and whatnot. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like it so I know you have enjoyed it. You guys always give me really good feedback on my cosmetic videos and my beauty videos. You guys tell me that it really helps you when I share my opinion with you guys and share, you know, swatches like this with you guys. And as drugstore couponers, I feel like these videos are helpful because we are just flooded with cosmetic deals every single week. So I thought I would give you guys a little go-to guide and suggest some things that I have tried myself, things that I use all the time, and and things that I swear by. So um, good luck in shopping with your um, cosmetics this week. Definitely pick yourself up some lippies since today is National Lipstick Day. So definitely go and treat yourself to some new lippies. So I hope everyone has a fantastic day. My CVS in-store couponing video is in the description box of this video and my CVS haul will be coming sometime on Sunday. I'm not sure um, when I'll be uploading that haul, but it is going to be coming to you guys. So hope everyone has a fantastic Sunday and I will talk to everyone later. Bye.